Yo, it's your bro, Yo Elliot here, and today this video is gonna be a free flow video straight from a dome. And so today I'm just gonna wrap with you guys. I'm gonna talk to you about why I think you should consider going to grounding camp, but it's not gonna be a boring ad video. I'm gonna begin with a story about why I'm even making that request. It begins in 2012, man. I was a broke, struggling personal trainer with a wife and four kids. And I got really sick and I was down on my luck and things weren't working out and I was afraid I was gonna lose my house. I was afraid I was gonna lose my family. I didn't have a car. I was taking public transportation. I was struggling and suffering as a 20 something year old man. And I didn't know that there might be a way out, but I'm always curious. So I was seeking and I was searching. And while I was locked in my home on a couch with couch lock because I was taking some really heavy antibiotics because of the sickness I was hoping to eradicate, I began searching, seeking, and I reached out to an old friend who told me to read some books about bioenergetics. The book that she recommended was uh, Language of the Body. I got a copy of it right here. Not a very beautiful cover, but the name of the book was Language of the Body. Uh, and it's, it's sort of thick and it's sort of dense. And I could not stop until I was done with the book. I could not put this down. In fact, there are 12 more books just like this by Alexander Lowen on bioenergetic analysis that I devoured over the course of four or five weeks. I was enamored with this idea that I could break free from the limiting beliefs and the physical holding patterns that were a reaction, a, a unconscious reaction, a response by my body to the un resourceful thoughts of my mind. The body is the mind. The, I, the fact that I could exercise out my mental disturbances, my inadequacies or my depressions or my anxieties or you know the tensions that hold us from full expression. The idea that they were exercises, breathing exercises that I could do that would change my mind meaning from the outside in. If the mind was creating tension in the body unconsciously, I could consciously attack the body to relieve the mind. And as a result of getting the body out of the way so that the mind could expand, the soul could fucking flow for the first time in I don't know how long, bro. And I started making YouTube videos in a very different way. If you watch my videos from 2000, 12 on, right? Mainly the peak being 2013, 14, 15. And you watch my videos in 2009, 2010, 2011, you will see a stark contrast, big difference, not just in camera quality, of course, technology, but in the way I'm able to express myself. And that has only grown over time. But there's a lot to that story. It's not so simple. That was the fruit that contrast, that difference, that pit to peak experience from not being able to really communicate my message in a way that was compelling and charismatic to reaching over a million subscribers in, an about, in about seven months in 2014. It was crazy. And I didn't know what was going on. It was just like freaking magic, but it wasn't. It was logical, it made sense. It was a product of my intense bioenergetic analysis and therapist that I did with Dr. Glazier, Robert Glazier in Gainesville, Florida, between 2012 and 2016. Four years of intense bioenergetic analysis and therapy transformed my body, my mind, and the result that I was getting in the world. My life went from dark to light almost overnight. It was crazy, and I don't need to lie about this. You guys can see it. Just watch my videos. You'll see the contrast. You'll see the difference. You'll see the rise, rapid rise in my influence and my charisma until there was a peak and I popped and I've been going through a catabasis since. Don't want to focus too much on that just now. 
because that will make more sense in the big picture. Let's focus on what happened from that pit to peak experience when I went from a awkward, chubby, screaming guy at the camera to a confident, charismatic, compelling YouTuber almost overnight. It had everything to do with what we will be doing at Grounding Camp, and it begins with analysis. You know, many times we want to be more, we want to be better, we want to be stronger versions of ourselves, but we don't take a good account of where we are. And so my first experience with Dr. Glazier, after reading all of the books, so mind you, I know what I'm stepping into, reading all the Alexander Lowen books, was a bioenergetic assessment. He had me perform some really strange stretches one of which was called the bow, right? You're just kind of leaning back. And what a bioenergetic analysis or analyst does is he looks at how you breathe under stress. So if you're stretching like this or like this and then asked to breathe, you will be able to perceive, the, though slightly, the way that person is breathing is evidence of how and where he's holding. The way the flow, Alexander Lowen or Wilhelm Reich would call it the orgastic flow in the body. How easily does the breath wave flow in the body under a stressful situation? Now, why, did, why the bow? Why the stressful stretch? Because when under pressure, that's when the true you shows up. And it's the same way. It's the same way if you're under stress because of school and work and your girlfriend, like the real you is going to show up. You're going to be angry or you're going to snap or you're going to be sad or you're going to be depressed, whatever it is. But the same thing happens when you put your body under a certain amount of stress and you ask that person or yourself to breathe through it, you're going to notice all kinds of weird shit happening. Like for example, you might start shaking. You might start vibrating. There may be areas that turn darker red, and there may be areas that seem to be tight and painful. So by doing this bioenergetic analysis, he was able to understand me better without even knowing who I am, without having to hear me tell him who I am, or based on my verbal communication with him, it was purely physical. You could just see somebody. You look like what you are, is, a, is the essence of bioenergetic analysis or what Wilhelm Reich would call character structure. We all have different character structures. And there's five different character structures. I was calling them neosomatotypes a few months ago in some of the videos. If you know, you know. So, step two was he then began to give me exercises that were designed specifically for breaking the neurotic holding patterns or the, the tension that he recognized in my body after doing these exercises. So assessment exercises and then exercises for development, developmental exercises that opened up my capacity to breathe into my balls and express myself like never before, y'all. My charisma went through the roof. And I was doing all kinds of crazy shit, making videos that was entertaining people. And most people like watching my videos because I was a crazy fucking dude. But there was no containment. I didn't even know if I knew what that meant. I'm not even sure Dr. Glazier knew what that meant. May he rest in peace. But it was a missing piece in the bioenergetic analysis and therapy that I experienced when I worked with Dr. Glazier. I have a whole new sense of what's required for containment these days because I also then went into the neo-Jungian studies of masculine initiation through the work of Robert Moore, neo-Jungian. And I understand that for transformation to happen, there needs to be a containment, a sealed container, a containment for growth to happen. And so that whatever is cooking on the inside doesn't spill out in a way that the world can't handle, that you can't handle, that you don't understand, that you don't know how to direct and aim and deliver the best of who you are. That's what containment is all about. It's about not allowing yourself to get carried away with the new energy, the new vitality, the new charisma, without letting it carry you away, but you being conscious about its appearance, its presence, and being grateful but honorable about how you 
deal with this newfound power. I did not know how to deal with my power. I didn't know how to deal with my power. I didn't know how to deal with the charisma because I had no containment. Big topic, big subject, something that I dealt with the entire way down being in my catabasis. A part of being in catabasis, being on the down swing of things is isolation, is introversion. And I had to go through this introverted phase in order to understand what containment is. A lot of the experiences that I've shared with you guys over the past few years that seem weird, it's all about my discovery of containment. So we have analysis, we have exercise, we have containment, and then we have results. How does that support you in fitness, business, women in faith? How are you becoming a stronger version of yourself by expanding in your fitness? You, you may not even remember this, but you can watch the videos. I look different after doing bioenergetics in that intense way under the guidance of Dr. Glazier. I look different. My whole body changed. My voice changed. Everything changed. What do you do when you're a new you? I wasn't prepared for it, again, because I had no containment and I had no frame of reference for what was gonna happen and where I was going. But I'm here now, so I understand that if you go through the processes that I will teach you at Grounded Camp, you will change. But if there's no containment and there's no results, meaning there's no purpose, there's no point, there's no mission, there's no direction to aim that new found power, you'll crack up, you'll crazy yourself just like I did, because you got to be prepared to handle the power. You got to be prepared to handle the infusion of God in your body. That's why in the Lord's Prayer, give us our day, our daily bread, actually, actually transfers, it's, it's translated into ep, epousion. Our daily bread is epousion, which basically means Super substantial, super substantial bread. When you use bioenergetics, God gives you super substantial bread, but we have to beg every day in that prayer for just a daily dose of that super substantial power that will be pulsing through you when you learn how to breathe into your balls. So today is sort of a full free flow video, like I said, yo. I just wanted to introduce the idea of joining me at Grounding Camp where we're going to assess you. We will take a look at your character structure and there are a lot of other things beyond just categorizing someone because we know that nobody fits into a fucking box. There are things beyond that that we want to pinpoint like looking at the bands of tension. I spoke to a man today who's struggling with some things in his life and I noticed that his eyes betrayed the struggles in his life. And is it because of the eyes or is it the eyes cause it? Do the eyes cause, is it chicken or an egg? You, who knows? That's why we can't say that our mind, our body, and our life are separate things. They all mirror one another. So there are going to be parts of your body that need to be recognized for what they are and how they influence who you are. That's all a part of assessment. Then exercise. We're going to have a whole lot, a whole plethora of amazing exercises that we're going to do to help break through all of that, all those holding patterns, but then be, to be able to integrate that new found freedom that you receive by doing the breathing exercises, the bioenergetic exercises. And no, it's not Wim Hof exercise breathing. It's not uh, rebirthing or holotropic. It's not any psychedelic. There's nothing we're taking. You're not going to go into altered states of consciousness at all. Your consciousness actually evolves over time because you get in the way and more God can move freely through you. That's really the biggest sin. The biggest sin is not living in the will of the Lord. And every time we get in the way, that's exactly what we're doing with our stories, with our traumas, with our tension in our chest, our belly, and our balls. Ah! You got to let it out. You got to shake it out. You got to break it up and then contain it and focus it on who you want to be, where you want to go, and what your life's going to look like when you get there, bro. So that's it. That's all. If you're interested in joining me, learning a little bit more, 
getting on the list so that you can find out about the other ones that I will be holding multiple times this year. I'm bringing back events this year, starting with grounding camp. I might do a grounding, sorry, a strength camp. Grounding camp is kind of like I'm, I'm reverse engineering. I'm going back to the grounding camp, but I'm feeling pulled towards strength camp and it's going to be a live event. If you want to be on my list for live events, joining me and in breathing into my balls or lifting stones, big concrete balls, go to groundingcamp.com, click the link in this video, sign up, no pressure. There's no pressure. I want to help you learn more about what this crazy shit is. So I got a blog, bioenergeticexercises.com. I'll link to it. I'll send it out. I'll let you know. In fact, you can find it on my YouTube community wall if you just look at the pictures I've been posting because I've been promoting this all week with blog posts. And you can click one of those and read the blog posts. But that's it. I'm not trying to make you do anything you don't want to do, but I'm offering you an opportunity to grow free, bro. Freedom. Freedom. That's really what we're after, dudes. That's it. That's all. Talk soon. Done.